Hello and welcome to section 5, Functions Beyond the Basics. In this episode, we're going to talk about the in-out parameter. Some key points to get started. Most parameters are copied as values. They never affect the original call site. So an in-out parameter is passed by reference. You're going to be changing the original value that was passed in. Some good uses for this are when you're passing around large value types like structures, enums, or tuples. Basically, you're trying to save memory by not making as many copies. So as an example, I've made a, a large struct, which is meant to represent a value that you have in your own code that may contain a lot of values or values that use up a lot of memory, like images. And in this example, it just contains my integer of value 1 and a function called increase my int, which is a mutating function because we're using a value type. You need to notify other developers that you're updating the value itself, which is the struct of a large struct. So and in this example, it just contains my integer of value 1 and a function called increase my int, which is a mutating function because it is updating the value type and you're going to find other developers that you're changing the value of large struct by calling this function. Um, so first of all, we've got a function called increment. It's going to take in a large structure of type large struct and it's going to return a new large struct. So we can't automatically work on the large struct without making a copy. So first of all, now we have our copy. And then we will call the function increment my int on that and return that copy. So our function is not using the init parameter. It's using that structure to increment the int and then return that value. If we want to see how this works, we can first of all make our variable structure A, which is going to be an instantiation of large struct, and return that copy with the my end value being started off with 1. Made a new variable called structure B, and it's going to be the result of the increment function being called on structure A. And then we're simply going to print these out to see what the values are. Then print out structure B, so you can see the result of that. And if we run this, we can now see that structure A stays the same. We've first of all instantiated with 1. We passed it in here and it's the same as you would expect. Structure B is our copy and it has been updated to have the new value of 2. So if we wanted to go back now and use the inout parameter, first of all we define the keyword inout. We don't need a return type because we're directly modifying the large structure argument that's passed in. We don't need any copies because we are changing the values passed in as I said before. And we just directly call it on the argument itself. So now to see how this works again, we don't need the structure B because there's no return type. And structure A, to notify other developers that we're using the NI parameter, first of all we use the ampersand which shows them that this is in fact going to change structure A directly rather than making a copy, as they may expect. And so we print this out now. Structure A has now got the value of 2. There's no copies being made, and it's directly modified the value you passed in. So this has been a video about the in-out parameter. 